Is it just me or am I suddenly getting dizzy? I think that's the effects of that beer. It's a lemon lime, uh, not lemon lime. It's a lime beer. That's like one of my other favorite types of beers. Because you can really taste the lime. And it's like a bit of a salty sort of flavor to it. Hey, you. Nice, uh, nice armor you got there. What kind of dog is that? Oh, uh, yes. It's a, a rain dog. Fluffy dog. Uh, oh, fuck. Mm. Folks, I think there's going to be a lot of that. Oh, my God. This thing is not even, like, half empty. <laughs> At some point, I'm going to have to get myself some coffee. You should. I mean, yeah, coffee. Nectar of the gods. Yes. You want your ass kept awake. <laughs> Wait, how, how much coffee do you plan on drinking, or are you not a big coffee drinker? Yes. Okay, I'll take that as you like to take six cups a day and then one glass of water. Well, okay, not six cups a day. I like to have it at least once a day. Like, it, it's been a hot minute since I've been drinking coffee because I've been under the weather. And even mm -hmm. then, it's like, if you start drinking it, like, every single day, you start to become too immune to it. And the effects of trying to stay awake will not work too well. So I kind of, like, sometimes I have to step away for a bit if I really want to, like... You know, have the coffee do its job. You know, keep my ass awake. Well, the best way I found out, because I am an avid uh, coffee drinker, is that I get a lot of sleep, and um, then I have my coffee Ow! like early in the morning. I usually have like two, maybe three at the most. But in between there and then, like I keep drinking water throughout the day, usually ice cold uh. water, hmm. because it does dehydrate. To the moon, Alice. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I do agree with that. Plus, it's it's great for like if you're if you're trying like to lose weight, like drinking ice water, like it helps burn out uh burn uh or your stuff. Wait, ice water um, helps burn uh fat. Yeah, there's been studies that um it helps you with your metabolism, makes it faster. Um, it, it helps. I've noticed a, a little bit of a difference. And plus, it's just really good for you to keep drinking water overall and I just mean, upping that hydration. That's a mm. big no shit factor. Like, I drank cold water so many times, and yet I still have a fucking gut. Well, I, I also work out, so. You know, mm. that's, 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 that's. And it's not like dunking on you or anything. Like, it, you need to, like, take the steps in order to do it. No, and I get I, I'm it. It's it's not easy. It's not easy. Like starting, I I hated it. I was like, I want to die. But then once, well, I always had the motivation. But my my husband, he was like, I really don't want to do this anymore. I'm like, come on, you said you would do this with me, and he's like, fine. But then now he's like very happy that I keep pushing him. I'm like, let's go to the gym. Come on, we got to go to the gym. And he's like, ah, fine. Did he Literally, your husband sent me a private DM with a picture of him showing his muscles, saying, Hey, I'm giving you motivation. Oh, uh, that is. <laughs> that is what? generous of him. I like that he has that enthusiasm, like just giving you. Oh, I know. I, I, bro. I actually told him to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Give him motivation." You know, despite how much of an asshole he can make himself look like, he is a sweetheart. I'm not gonna lie. Oh well, yeah, good he's boy. A, he is a good boy. He is a very, very sweet, sweet no, boy the, when he wants to be. The dude made the dude made trotting with friends so much more fun. Like despite how much hell that maze was, but everybody else was saying I loved it. Well, there's a fun fact. Well, now he's unbanned from Ponytown. Good. So, uh, but here's a cool thing. Um, what we found out is that I ended up getting banned from Ponytown because we're on the same IP address. <laughs> oh no! But here's here's something cool. We found I found out through him that there are like ten other variants of Ponytown. You're in the king's court now. Oh shit! There's oh, like hi, Town where you become a donut. There's Luminous Crystal Town where it's like really pretty. There is um. Nope. Hmm. Uh no, not uh, the game. Oh motherfucker! Uh, he just fucking uh, killed himself. Not There's anymore. There's like a Fallout version. There, there, just ask him and say, what other Pony Towns are there? You might have to remake your character, but like, it would be very interesting to see you like go through it. I think that would be something fun that you could do. I keep There's... telling him to send the towns to you. You know, I, w I am going to say this. Rustic has become such an inspiration to people uh, on, my uh, on my server. 
that oh really that's so yeah, sweet like okay so they started making their own mazes some of them literally are making board game replicas like oh, literally they cool. have cer that that looks like that looks killer let's look I, I don't know what we could do but like i would love to play checkers I kind oh, of see if okay. If we're gonna do like checkers, we're gonna have so we're gonna have to have so many people because it's like okay, so checkers or chess, you would need to have okay. So there's I think there's eight pawns. There's the queen and the king, two uh two bishops, two knights, and two uh something else like well, not, uh, rooks. Rooks, yeah. So, I say checkers because I don't know how to play chess. Okay, um, I, I can explain to you how chess works. Like, I was never good at it. Jesus Christ, Morty, you're not even trying. God, you are boring. Jeez, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Morty just wanted to commit Satoko. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a cat. I demand I will take it. You know which game I want to see be done in Ponytown? <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Jumanji. How would I don't that know work? if that's complicated. It'd be possible, maybe. The thing I remember about Jumanji, at least the go uh, board game wise, is that you go, you select a card about a certain event, and you have to roll a particular dice that has certain markings on it, and you have to make sure that it rolls into it before a timer runs out, which I think was pretty fun and like intense on that one to help like yeah, catch a feel of that. Because also, I I love the Jumanji movie. Like critics were brutal to it, saying like this oh, is yeah, gonna scare the shit out of kids, but. That's what's funny. I mean, oh yeah, definitely. Like I remember Roger Ebert and like Sis Siskel and Ebert both were critical of it because they're just like the movie's like way too dark. How the hell can you recommend this movie to kids? Kids like being scared. <laughs> also, I, I don't remember mention... I was terrified when I saw that one of them got literally sucked into the board game. He was vortexed into it. <sighs> I think the part that scared me was the scene with the lion. <laughs> no, the part that got me. The part that got me, because as a kid, I was a completely bug-phobic, were the mosquitoes. Oh, God, the mosquitoes. Oh, God, don't, for, don't <laughs> forget the spiders. Oh, the giant ones? Okay, the giant ones didn't scare me as much as the mosquitoes, because those things are tiny, they're fast, and they can get you anywhere if when you least expect it. Those spiders were just moving slow. It's like, just stay away from it. True, and not to mention, literally, Peter... Peter was seen kicking them like they were nothing. Oh. But yeah, I did have the board game at one point as a kid. My parents bought to me as a as a as a um, I think as a birthday gift or as a Christmas gift. Let's try it. Because I loved the movie that much as a kid. We ended up losing it. I probably would someday probably buy it just to, just. I might for a still have. Item. I might still have the board game. It's been a, like I have a collection of board games sitting around somewhere in the apartment. Hmm. Hell, I might still I have our cheesy. I had Zathura too. I had the Zathura board game. Well, that really yeah, my cousin really had Zathura. Zathura was pretty good. The, the board game, I kind of wish I had. Just you know, hold on a second, Dev Kitty. What's going on in Turan? I'm hearing multiple voices. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, my husband just walked in. Let me meet my. Oh, okay. okay. Um. Anyway, yeah, I had the Zathura board game and. I kind of wish I didn't. End, I didn't end up throwing. I didn't. I wish. I kind of wish my dad didn't end up throwing it out because that thing is a collector's item. At least Hello, Steven. Thinking. Let me check eBay if it's a collector's item. What the hell stage is this? What is this a reference to? Adventure time. Adventure time. Adventure okay. time. It's adventure time, despite the fact that Steven and Garnet are fighting in this universe. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, it is a col it is sort of a collector's item, dude. Like I've actually seen somebody like make a replica, like literally a replica of the Jumanji game based off of the movie, like the actual wooden yeah. pieces and everything. 
Yeah, I've seen those. I've seen those. Like, there was actually one that a there was one like an official version that they made of it, and there was a guy on YouTube who I used to watch who actually did a retrospective, who actually did a review on it. He was not happy with it. Oh, he why? Was, because like. As an accurate representation of the board game, like, from a visual perspective, it gets it. But there are so many details that when you look closely at it, you begin to realize, oh my god, they half-assed it. Ah. Uh... Like, case in point, you know how one of the best things of the game is you drop, is when the game is opened, you drop the little pieces and they pretty much jump to the sides, right? Like if they have magnets. Mm-hmm. This game doesn't. This version of the game does not have that. That's kind of disappointing. Yeah, it was Honestly, very. Honestly, that would have been that would have been very cool. Like have uh have the like spaces and the bottom of the ch uh the the ca uh, character pieces be magnetic. Like that's one of them. Another of which is like you pull out a card and you flash it into like a magnet or something like that, and it kind of like reads it out to you or something. Yeah, that's what many people wanted. But no, this one was just... It just felt half-assed. And the fact that they charged like a hundred something for it made it worse. Come on, Steven. Get down here. There we okay, go. Okay, so I I did find a good version of the Zasura board game. It's like 40 bucks. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. But usually the more completed, I guess the ones that are not fully opened, those those end up going up for like ninety to a hundred bucks. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I do remember having this Ow. one as a kid, and I loved it. Plus, the movie wasn't that bad either. Oh, no, I love Jumanji. Jumanji, Zathura, great, great stuff. The Mungies, the Thura, Tic Tac Toe. <laughs> tic Tac Toe. <clears throat> I'm still like, okay, it was one thing to do a movie based off of Jumanji and one based off of Thura. I still cannot, even after 10 years, get over the fact that there was a literally a battleship movie. Oh, God. Yeah, that was a thing. And the fact that it was directed by, of all people, Michael Bay? Wait, did like, he direct it? Hang on. I wait, gotta I look at this. I gotta look it up, too. I don't think he directed it, but I think he was involved with it. Let me check. No, it was directed by Peter Burke. Okay, so it wasn't directed by him. Okay, so it wasn't directed by him. Still, like... That was just a bizarre idea of a movie. Like, I vented my feelings about it, and everybody's like, wait until the movie comes out. There are just some movies that, based off of board games, that just don't, just by looking at the trailer, it will not work. I mean, it just makes little to no sense. And you want to know the weirdest part about this? The guy who directed this movie? He fucking made Hancock. I remember Hancock. Yeah, that was a good movie. How the hell did he go from, hey, this is the movie about, you know, Will Smith being a drunk superhero to literally making a board game video, making a board game movie? I mean, the idea, behind, there, the the idea behind Battleship was just warfare of who you hit with what. Like, they're kind of blind shots with, you know, who is what. So making a movie off of it, just make a war movie. There you go. No, they had to take a bit of mile. Yeah, they had to include aliens like what the fuck was that i mean then again these are i mean it wasn't the same company but we do live in a world where someone looked at emojis and went yeah this can make a good movie you know that is true i still i still can't get over the fact that they made a movie based on just this series of emojis and like i my nephews watched that movie because any you know because they were morbidly because they were interested in it and mm. honestly, watching the Emoji movie with them, or at least just watching snippets of it, the biggest problem with it was the fact that it was just boring. It was nothing special. It was just a bare minimum, low effort movie with a fancy budget. Didn't really need to exist, but they decided to somehow market it. It's not offensive, thankfully enough, but it's still a pretty terrible movie. And not really, like, even the... 
even the movies that you look at that actually that are actually terrible, at least you can get a chuckle out of it. This sometimes no. I think about that movie as a sign of like we're gonna get movies that are more boring and stale and stupid, kind of like uh like Al My Balls from Idiocracy. Oh God, pretty much that's similar to it. it it's sort of some. It's kind of like the idea of what um, Cinematic Extraman says. The worst movie that you can ever make is one that is boring and uninspiring. To me, like, it's not just whatever is boring and uninspiring. If there's something that's frustrating, like, it's just like they, they, they do things for the wrong reasons and it just feels more insulting. Yeah, like, I don't know. Damn it, I lost so the 69 again. I don't know who at Sony looked at this and thought, yeah, this could be potential, because I can't think of any potential that they could have made with a movie about emojis. Say what you... I mean, one good example that comes to mind, they can say what you want about the Trolls movie, but at least there was some sort of... Um, there were... Tr you could tell they were trying. There was effort. Maybe not enough... Maybe not huge... But just enough for you to look at that movie and go... And, and get an idea, like, okay, I see what they're trying to do. Yeah. Whereas with the Emoji movie, it's just... No, eh? nothing. It's just a whole lot of nothing. I can't yeah. wait to see you guys watch Bikini Summer 1 and 2 and 80s movies. That would be <laughs> I mean, 80s movies are always going to be entertaining, regardless of how stilted they can be. Because they're what just fun. By, what do you mean by stilted? Um, usually in terms of just, you can tell the age of the movies. Oh, okay, so, like, what they were at the time. Like, I'll look at Terminator 1 and realize, okay, yeah, they're using those, uh, those synthesizer sounds. Like, there's a charm to that. Yeah, or, like, any horror movie that tries to be, like, scary, but then you're like, yeah, this is an 80s movie, because you, you can tell that there's, like, some sort of, like, do you hear those okay. synthesizer twangs playing in? <laughs> I mean, the synthesizers, a little bit of the acting, the fact that the, the storytelling is a little bit, you know, weak. Wait, but not didn't to I the point, fight her already? But not to the point where you're like, ugh, it's bad. Also, the fact that the 80s were pretty much filled with nothing but slasher movies, so oh, there you yeah. go. Also well, it was either slasher movies, coming-of-age movies, or bikini sex. Or Kitty? just anything. Hey, Def, hold yeah. on a second. Kitty, have you ever seen Point Break? Who? Oh? Point Break. Have you ever seen that movie before? I don't think so. I haven't heard of oh. it. Oh. You've never heard of it? Okay. You'll probably know it when you see it. They're kind of known for uh, this, uh, like, a robbery scene where uh, the robbers are wearing president masks. 